Hello all, welcome to our channel Swiss Berlin. Here we explain the handling of our G7 product. Today's topic is how to manage job errors. Here we create error handling workflow using Job Cockpit. So let's get started. First, we have to log in to the Job Cockpit dashboard with account and password. The default credential include the account root and the password root. Now click on submit button. From the dashboard, you can see the J7 controller and agents are up and running. To create a job, first click on the configuration tab. From the left tree menu of root, click on the new and add a new folder. Add a proper name to your folder. Here I am giving error handling. Then click on submit button. Expand the newly created folder and click on controller. The subfolder will expand. Click on the workflow. A new window will open at the right side of the screen. From the action menu of the workflow, click on new. Give a proper name to your workflow. Example, here I am giving error handling. Then click on submit. A graphical view is open where you can select the objects. Drag and drop the job from the left menu. The right menu will open for the selected job. From the job property window, add a label to your job. To execute the job, select the agent from the drop down. And drag and drop the track edge block from the last panel and add jobs into it. Now add the required block inside the track edge block and add job inside the retry block. If any job inside the try block fails, then the order is moved to the beginning of the retry block to repeat execution. Now add the label to your job and select agent from the drop down list. Add the script to your job. Here I am using clip file in my script. You can use any script you want. Do the same for all other jobs. Now add a job in the end of the triangle. This is the optional job but I am giving it as a final job. Now add the label to your job and select agent from the drop down list and add the script to it. Click outside of the property window to save the changes. Now configure the retry instructions and add maximum number of retries and delay per retry execution. Here if try block is executed successfully then it will complete the workflow. We have added a retry block inside the try catch block. So if one of the jobs inside the retry block fail, then the order is moved to the beginning of the retry block to repeat the execution. If maximum number of retry reach an order is failed, then the catch block is executed to complete the workflow. Here, edit one of your scripts and add exit code which execute the job with error to understand the retry block execution. Now save the changes, deploy button and submit. Now switch to the workflow tab and select the workflow. Click on action menu of the workflow and click on add order. Submit. Here you can see the nodes are running. Once the workflow is completed, then we can check the history if it is executed successfully or not. You can see the workflow is completed successfully. Here in the log we see the job 2 is fail with the first retry and the job 2 fail with the second retry. After that the catch block is executed and job 3 is successful and the workflow is completed successfully. Here our error handling workflow completes successfully. Please comment for any questions. Thank you for watching our video.